Good morning. I'm Ruben Echenova, Chairman of Housing Action Coalition, and we welcome you to Housing Forum 2008. We started this terrific event last year, and we thought it was very, very successful, and seeing the full range of the community being represented here is also terrific. Uh, last year, we had a terrific panel, and this year, we even deliver a better panel. Although last year, I could say that Henry Cisneros, Art Evans, Doug Shoemaker from Mo were really, in their own terms, really successful for us in that event. As I said, we have a special treat for you here this morning, and this is the first time that the composite of the major department heads in one place at one time to answer your questions or also to hear what they have to deliver their direction and hopefully to make our great city of San Francisco even better. And if the coffee doesn't open your eyes, hopefully some of their comments will. Uh, and, uh, the, you'll, prov you'll be provided a sneak preview of insights of how and what they plan with their leadership will take San Francisco to the next level. Their ambition is only challenged by how much they could do in what time they've got. But nevertheless, our support for them will unknowingly be felt and across the board we surely will challenge them. Uh, just some housekeeping items. I uh, would love to give credit to our sponsors, and they are on your, the back of your um, programs. But I would like for those, as I mentioned, these names, if you're a representative of that organization, to at least, if not wave your hand, please stand up and be recognized. Uh, Citibank, Forest City, need my glasses here, <laughs> the San Francisco Waterfront Partners, thank you. Wilson Meany Sullivan, Berg Davis, Build Inc., Cherokee with Urban Green Development, Forella Braun Martel, H. Marcia Samolans. Treasure Island Community Development. Archstone. West Bay Housing. Carpenters Local 22. <laughs> Terrific. Again, I can't say enough without your support and all that are here this event wouldn't be as successful as it is, as I anticipate it to be. We have paper and pencils at the end of the rows, and I would love for you to put down your questions. We'll have the, uh, uh, they'll be picked up, and we will field those questions, and make sure that you make a note as to who it might be, whether it's specific or whether it could be a general question. Uh, Housing Action Coalition would not be where it's at without its current executive director, Tim Colon. He's a man of many talents, and with his guidance and energy, he'll be taking hack to better and greater things above and beyond this event. <laughs> He's no hack. <laughs> as we fondly refer to the Housing Action Coalition as the hack. And I introduce to you Tim Colon.
Thank you, Ruben. This is a delightful turnout. This is amazing. Um, I came here almost three years ago, and the city was in the middle of a, a boom, a, a building of housing. And the climate's slightly different now. Uh, I, I sense some anxiety. I think 2008 is going to be an interesting year. Um, that will likely inform our event today. Briefly, just a little bit of history about it. I'm not here to talk. There's some people that are better at it than I am, but we're about nine years old. We're membership-based. We have, we're, I think we're closing in on 75 member organizations, uh, a lot of really great groups. If you look at the list of who the members are, it really speaks well to the diversity of people interested in housing. Uh, we're volunteer-based as well. Uh, I want to in particular acknowledge the committee chairs who do the heavy lifting of our small organization. Uh, we, our work is basically in three committees. We have endorsements, project endorsements, uh, run by Stephen Aiello of Greenbelt Alliance. We have uh, our regulatory committee. Yeah. These, these are remarkable volunteers in addition to everything else they do. They they're do the heavy lifting of what we do. Uh, I don't see him today, but George Williams from Spur uh, does our endorsement committee. The regulatory committee is Stephen Aiello, and the outreach committee is the estimable Trudy Laskatoff. These are the people that make our, our, our organization what it is. There are also some volunteers around. These are likely to be the housing leaders of tomorrow. Pay attention to them. When we started thinking about this event last year, uh, we realized that the planets were coming into alignment and we had new department heads. Uh, it's a rare kind of thing all at once like this. And we, our idea was to have a, a panel, something like a new generation of housing leaders, uh, and to get them and get their vision and ideas of what San Francisco could be and where they'd like to go before the political process inevitably steps in and beats people down. This is a good time to talk about these things. Um, and of course, I'd, I'll cop to a bait and switch. We started out with three, but you'll notice down at the end we have a, a fourth panelist. Michael Cohen generously agreed to be here, and it, you can't get around him either. He's quite involved with it at uh, uh, economic development. I won't go into their bios. Uh, you've got the programs. It's filled up with lots of small fine print of their remarkable accomplishments and where they've been and what they do. I urge you to look at that. Um, and so let's... I'll introduce our, our moderator. We're very fortunate. I saw Larry at a couple of uh, events. He's with the Goldman School of Public Policy, and he's the executive director of the Berkeley Program of Housing and Urban Policy. So let's get this going. My philosophy is get some bright people and get out of their way. Let's listen to what they have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Ruben, uh, Housing Action Coalition, all the sponsors. It's really great to see everyone here this morning. And for me, it's kind of a maiden voyage to this uh, marvelous example of infill development. Infill is so easy to do when you're building on flat land. Um, I, I'm very proud of what the, uh, what the regents foresee for this neighborhood. I just hope it actually doesn't just come to an end right at the edge right now, because it feels both very exciting and a little bit desolate, um, but it's filled with possibility and uh, it seems like a wonderful facility for our purposes this morning. Well, um, I was really delighted to be invited uh, by uh, the Housing Action Coalition for this kind of harmonic convergence of new leadership, and I thought I would just set the stage really quickly before getting into questions. Um, my apologies to Michael Krasny. Um, a la Lloyd Benson, I am no Michael Krasny, um, but I will do my best to uh, tell, uh, tell the panelists uh, how they can best inform you and to ask uh, provocative questions that um, keep us on an even keel. I was thinking about affordability on the way into town, and uh, I was reminded that very often the words affordability and crisis are put together, as if they're kind of married. Uh, I did a little checking, and the first appearance of affordability crisis as a, as a terminology um, in the Chronicle appears in the late 40s after, after the war. And so I think we've been in a perennial crisis, and perhaps if 